What's up guys? So over the weekend we were at ETH Waterloo, the world's biggest Ethereum hackathon, and we're gonna do a quick recap. And obviously we got Hasib. As you know, he's our evangelist, right? Evangelist developer for Block Geeks. So Hasib, man, how was the weekend? Uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, lots of hackers showed up. There was lots of energy in the building. Uh, and uh, most of all, there's a lot of great ideas being thrown around uh, by the finalists, uh, including the other, the other hackers that were there as well. Um, yeah, and also the uh, some of the talks, the technical sessions that were given by like Parity and Zero X and like Tinderman and all those guys. I thought those were really great. Um, yeah, one that really stood out to me was the uh, Parity technical session mm. on some of their uh, reactive JavaScript Ethereum APIs. Um, and as you know, reactive programming is um, you know a paradigm that's picking up really fast and it was really cool to see um you know libraries that developers can actually use to build their apps yeah anything else that stood out to you you watched the uport presentation so what did you like about it um so uport i thought was really cool um in the sense that you know sovereign self-identity um giving users control over their data and their identity online um, and the implications that's going to have uh, and this was the first time that i had actually seen a demo of you know, a self-identity app. Uh, so Uport, uh, I thought, was was super cool in that sense because that's supposed to be like the killer app that actually brings mainstream adoption to the blockchain. So I thought that was really awesome. Anything else? Um, I also thought the uh, blockchain panel with Vitalik was really great, um, as well as his opening uh, his opening keynote. Um, you know, just bringing you know clarity to some of the privacy techniques and some of the new sort of math. Uh, and sort ring of ring signatures. Ring signatures, exactly. Like super cool stuff, and like the different applications of that, and the problems that that can help us solve that we have today in building our apps. Um, so I mean, I thought that was just like wonderful, wonderful information. And um, yeah, we'll be we'll be creating courses on that as well. Beautiful. Did you see any cool projects with the hackers in residence over there? Um, yeah, so I actually checked out um, the closing ceremonies with the finalists. Um, you know, Third Eye obviously was the winner and uh, they had a really interesting idea. They're kind of monetizing like code review. Mm. So, you know, developers want to create smart contracts, but we want to make sure that they're secure and that they can't be hacked. So uh, typically, you know, to maintain code quality, we do code reviews, right? Um, but this is kind of like an incentivized code review. Bounties. So, exactly. So you upload your source code and uh, you can stake some ether for it. And you let other developers come in and point out bugs to you. And you know if it is a valid bug, you can give some of that uh, ether that you staked as a reward to that uh, developer. That's good. Yeah, I thought that was great uh, in terms of you know improving the code quality in the ecosystem. Mm. And also just a new way to monetize for developers because in traditional code review systems, you're kind of depending on people's generosity or them being paid a salary to actually look at your code. But mm -hmm. in this case, people have actual monetary rewards for helping improve the ecosystem, which I think is wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Any other uh, ones that you liked? Um, I also thought, uh, what was some other cool? I thought Pocket was really cool, uh, which was like this sort of... Uh, game between children and their parents uh, where parents can sort of control how their children spend their money and it's sort of a, a gamification of that uh, so it's a way to introduce uh, you know kids to uh, you know first of all Ethereum mm -hmm. and, and just getting them used to it to getting them used to crypto um, because you know they they are the future they are gonna be uh, the mainstream adopters the mainstream users of Ethereum so I thought that was absolutely wonderful that they were able to combine sort of the financial sensibilities as well as crypto as well as like a game between children and parents so I thought that was really really great do you have any surprising takeaways from the weekend anything kind of was like took you by surprise would you say um surprise takeaways um or unexpected um well one idea that I thought was kind of unexpected and like that I thought would have like a high impact and it's like a very yeah. obvious problem today was this group of hackers uh, from the US who created this uh, sort of decentralized exchange for healthcare services. Mm. So right now is you know like the American healthcare system is going through you know a lot of uh, you, you could say turbulence. Um, so these guys created a platform where you know people offering healthcare services like hospitals who are offering like x-rays, 
you know, they can sell, uh, they can sell tokens for each x-ray, right? And doctors who run clinics and need x-rays for their patients, they can buy those tokens and sort of buy those services from the hospital directly without needing any, you know, intermediary insurance companies or anybody really. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought that was, uh, really profound and I thought that that could have a really high impact with with healthcare which is um, you know obviously affects all of us so I thought that was really great as well cool yeah so if you had to uh, summarize your thoughts for ETH Waterloo what would it be um, I mean it's like super exciting stuff um, but yeah at the end of it is like despite you know the volume of ideas it's the number of people that were there like it's still day one. So the it's, beginning. It's still day one. So there's there's so much more to come, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited for it. Awesome. Well, thanks, brother. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.